Hey everybody, welcome to this week's show. Tell you what, trying to get all my tours done today because tomorrow we are heading over to hook up with our good friend, Big B, which is Brian Zupke and Pete Huff from the Best Damn Bait Shop. And no doubt these guys are on a great bite. We're gonna be doing some perch fishing. I told them, no bluegills, Brian. And you know the fishing's always good, but I mean talking about great outings. I'm talking about having a lot of fun. This guy has got a lot of energy, a lot of knowledge, and a lot of stories, and that's what I love. Hey everybody, you know what? Hang on to your heinies. I got a feeling it's going to be a good one. Stinker, you're not going. I can tell you that. So I just assume, hey, he wants to go for a ride on the skag. All right, Stinker, let's get this lawn mowing stuff done. Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you by Warrior Boats, Vortex, Tubble Towels, Bartline Barrels, Magic Products, Power Sports Company, Mike's Country Meats, The MRD Group, Leroy Meats, Easy Loader Trailers, and heavy shot. Do you remember like I always say, it's a great day to be alive. All right, Pete, starting it off here. Look at that. That's nice a good perch on. right there. Hold that one up. First hey, I'll plug. tell you what, it is amazing that we got out of the wind today because the wind is cranking about 30 miles an hour and we ran to the opposite shore there. And uh, I've got the live scope set up. Just started marking them. You know, it's kind of nice because we've got the spot lock on and we're just kind of moving around. We've been out here for about 20 minutes that's our first perch so far. Definitely the key too is when it comes to perch is move, move, move until you get on them schools. And a lot of times you're not moving very far. You know, there's times where we're only moving 10, 15 feet. It's like, I always say this, and I'm sure that these guys would agree with this. Perch seem to run like a pattern, like almost like a channel they find. And that's, once you get on that line, it's game on. You got him, Zoopy? There you go, man. Perch, nice perch. perch. Oh, took a big old on me. My girlfriend just cleaned this shirt for me, too. Zoop, we're, we're trying to film a TV show. You can't say that word. Can't say that Look at that, that's a dangler. Oh, she's gone forever. You dropped it on me. <laughs> well, that's Pete. perfect Dean size. Pete's got one. Pete. There we go, game on now. Very nice. All we had to do is move over Let's another 10 feet. Key is too about perch fishing, is try to keep that boat as still as you can. You know, we're using the spot lock today, but they're getting a little sway in the back there, and if it continues to do that, what I'm actually gonna do is I will drop an anchor down in the back. Broke you, broke you off? But just to try to keep that boat from swinging. Oh, oh, geez, I Holy that. man! <laughs> Whoa! That is a big one. <laughs> that is. Jumping. You're on he's, the bass. Still doesn't the... know he's stuck there, I think. Jeez. <laughs> hey. Oh, there you go. Look at that one. Nice bass. If guys are in a tournament, they'd love that one. We'll let them right back. There, and I'll hit that perch. Oh, yeah. Got a perch now? Oh, nice. Dude, what is Whoa, I'm Zoop, What is going on with you and I? I don't know. We, we got the big old stink tank. Wow. Pete, what Traveling are you doing together. differently than what, what, what we're doing? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> you, just, you just caught three perch in a row and two bass and another perch. 
right in. I haven't even had a bite. I just changed all my rods over. My lines are perfectly straight up and down. So if I get hung up in a weed, I'll lift it up, set it back down so the lines are perfectly straight up and down. Okay. Yep. Well, I even moved to your side of the boat. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not really switching up, but I've got uh, an ice rod set up right here. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is one of my favorite rods, I'll tell you everybody, is this Meg's uh, 7. You know, this rod is uh, no doubt very, very sensitive. And Pat built these rods last year for me for pan fishing, and, and it's a great rod. But you know, I use the rod for pretty much everything this time of year. Like when we're dragging up on the river, dragging weedless jigs, and out on the lake out there, pitching small 16th and 8th ounce jigs, it works great. I like it because it's soft enough that them fish, I let them load up on it, and they don't feel that tension uh, with the rod until it's too late. I would say it's probably my favorite all around rod right here because it is so versatile. There's so many different applications that you can use it for. I know the guys in the back are all using short reel rods, but I got my own technique. Sure. Oh, there's a good one. Mm. Tell you what, I switch sides of the boat and it's amazing that how many times I've seen that just moving to the other side when it comes to perch, can make a huge difference. So we'll find out here in a couple minutes. There you go, Pete. Perch look at that one. Oh, yeah. What is the deal, dude? I cannot get bit. I'm in the front of the boat. I cannot figure it out. Perch right that's there. That's nice fish right there. That is another quality perch right there. Wow, that's a nice fish. Perfect eater. And they're real fat at this time of the year. No. Uh, Space getting lost by the eggs. That's a flay through and through right there. We'll put them right in there. Nice job, buddy. Hey, Big B and Pete, let's talk a little bit too about like when people come out to an absolutely giant body of water like this, how do you find these perch? You know, and how do they progress through the summer? Uh, you want to go for this? Or you want well, me to? I like to find either a big weed mat and fish on the other side of it or find your sporadic weeds that are spaced typically 18 inches, two foot tall, and in, in that it can be as shallow as seven feet, but seven to 12 feet of water early on. They're in there eating them hogger mites and other bugs. Uh, yeah, well, another thing I look for is mud bottom. Um, that's gonna hold the bugs, grow good weeds. Sorry guys, I got another one on. Um, you just wanna kinda look for spots that, uh, you know, where, you know, we, we ice fish right outside of here too. So, you know, you kind of look for spots that fish aren't gonna travel too far for where their roaming areas are. Uh, you know, you don't wanna be in the dense weeds, but you wanna look for areas that have clump weeds, you know, uh, on the, adjacent to the dense weeds. So you wanna look for, oh, I missed them. You wanna look for the clump weeds. Um, and then you just put your, you know, most, most of the time we don't throw an anchor, we'll use spot lock, but you know, you can throw an anchor and stir up the bottom a little bit, you know, and really use your graph to show that the softer bottom, you wanna make sure you have that soft mud bottom where you get those clump weeds that grow in that 12 feet, 11 to 13 feet of water range, you know, um, yep. So anything that, that real good dense weed that grows in big clumps, you know, gives them a uh, hiding area to cruise through and have like travel roads. What's the deal there? The deal is we're all on this side of the boat because you know what? Pete is literally kicking our heinies. Hey, hey! Zuperoni, what do you got? There's a good one. Come on, Birch, keep flowing this way. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Come on, Birch. Keep coming. Look them, Zup. I'm right there with you guys on that. Double, double, double. Oh, tripers. Oh, oh, what is going on here? Oh. All I have to say is that. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. No, he's got another. Oh, another. Gee. <laughs> oh, he almost broke my Them leg. are pigs. That's what we're after right there. Them are great perch right there. You know, that's perch. 10 and a half to 11 inch perch. Them Very are great nice. perch. Oh. Jumper. 
Hey, I gotta start somewhere. You, what do you got, Pete? Perch. I got a big perch. Oh, gone. Took my whole rig. Big bass. Another decent one. That's a good eater right there. About a nine incher. I'm constantly picking. If I'm getting in weeds, my line gets any bit of an angle. I'll pick it up, set it down, so it's perfectly straight up and down. So you're you're really maintaining them lines yeah. like crazy, yep. and it definitely t t you can really see the difference. I think so, yep. There you go, getting better again. Can't take it. I can't take Good it. Good nine incher. Good eater. Pete. <laughs> yeah. Pete. I had a little spill. Do it. I this, never spill on people's boats. This is why we put all the worms yep. in here. And that's why nice bedding in there, too. Yeah, it is. So why are you messing around? Now you, I just spent all day yesterday cleaning this boat. I forgot my magic container. Right. Hey Larry, you need some minnows? No, I'm good. Hey, hey! What are you guys doing up there? Man, oh man. I'm having a hard enough time catching fish. Are you fishing for minnow buckets today, bud? Whew, that sun is killing me. You gotta do it like that. Thanks. Oh, Larry. How I love thee. Oh, oh there's oh, a good a perch. Well, there's, on this side of the boat. there's a good perch. Oh. You see what happened? We made a move to another spot. I got finally, it. I'm in the game here. It only took me two and a half hours, but hey, finally I've got something to contribute to the live well there. These are all nice perch, you know, in that 10 inch range. We had a, you know, we, we moved about six times, you guys, and that really definitely is the key to perch fishing, is just keep moving. If you're not catching them, you don't see them on your electronics, in five, 10 minutes, you know, just move over like they were saying before. The big thing is just making small moves, you know. Sometimes it's 10, 15, 20 feet, sometimes it's 50, but very seldom are we making like big moves of, you know, quarter mile. Here, wanna open the live wheel up? Got one, Petey. Good one too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh look at that one. Oh yes. Hey, I'll tell you what. You said if we make a move, we're getting close because the last couple spots we were catching one or two nice ones and a ton of small ones. There you go again. Now it's game on. Yep. Every one we're catching is huge. We need 50 more, boys. Keep her going. Keeping that uh, that in the bottom. So when the wave comes up, if there's any motion. They've got it, and look at how he swallowed. He's got that. It's just down there. Another quality perch. Damn nice perch. In the waves. Nobody around us. We're doing our... There you go. Got him. Decent one. Yep, keeper. Whoop. In a note. I just, it's hard to believe that switching sides of the boat makes that much of a difference, but. Again, you love it. You know, the cool part is that the perch fishing this year, you know, of course, we're down in the Madison area today with our good friend uh, Brian Zupke and Pete Huff. But the cool part is Winnebago's on fire. The Green Bay has really been doing good. That's another nice perch right there. So when you look at like some of these bigger bodies of water and you know, perch like any other fish, you know, cycles. There's always cycles. And I would say right now, when you're looking obviously at the Madison chain, you know, we're in a really good high cycle. You know, oh man, they're going like crazy. You want to bag all the perch fishing and Bay of the Green Bay. So there's three big bodies of water. You definitely, if you're a perch fanatic like we are, you definitely want to check them out. Oh, nice fish, big bee boy. That one's really got her choked down. Yes, it does. Definitely made a big difference, you know, like I was saying a little while ago, you know, we've been in, on this spot for about 20 minutes now, is that, uh, you know, we kept working our way, working our way, and we would catch two or three big ones, and then a flood of small ones, and you said, 
you know what, let's just keep moving until we get on that consistent school of big fish and now that's all we're catching, which is pretty darn cool. Does that happen a lot like that? Oh yeah, it does. And then you do also find the smallmouth with the little smaller ones. And you see now we're not catching any smallmouth? Yep. Life-size fish, that's good. What do you got there, Larry? Oh, I shouldn't have said about a small one. They, they're catching up to us, Zoopy. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Oh, there's a better one right there. Oh, I like that right there. Man, big difference. I'll tell you again, for the first three hours, I was struggling big time this morning. And now it's definitely game on. And uh, I moved to the back here. I don't know what the deal is. If the front was just moving too much up there, you wouldn't think it's typically the front is where the trolling motor, we have it on spot lock. We never did put an anchor out yet, but Pete kept saying about keeping his lines vertical. and. I did add another sinker. I got two sinkers on here now just to keep that line. This one slid down on me, but uh, just to keep that line tight. And I think that made a huge difference. Otherwise, you know, it's one thing about perch that I have learned over the years. And, you know, I think you get a little lazy now um, when it starts coming to anchoring up because you hardly ever, I've got anchors in here, but you hardly ever use them. But that's the way we always did it. We always threw an anchor off the front, backed it in, and then threw one off the back just to keep that boat from swaying. So uh, definitely made a big difference. We got, I don't know, we'll find out. It was like a big perch out. It's a walleye. Walleye? These, that's another thing. Like you guide a lot for walleyes out here. This, these lakes are just awesome walleye lakes, aren't they? Oh, incredible lakes. You stock to the brim with walleyes. Perch, tons of perch in these lakes, smallmouth, walleyes, bluegills, you no. name it. Bluegills. There's a few. Not bluegills. Caught like five or six of them today. Hunter doesn't even want to put them on camera. Pretty incredible morning out here with the guys. You know, I definitely did not have the hot hand till I got a little bit better the last two hours, but I definitely learned a lot. And what an awesome thing. You know, like I was talking, it is amazing when you start thinking about all the great perch bites that are going on right now. Again, this whole Madison chain, you know, with Pete and Zupke. I'll tell you what, we got some cleaning to do. We're gonna go back home and throw these in the tumbler, tumble them up and flay them up. And uh, you know, a couple fish fries in the office this week. Hey everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, I'll tell you what, this is no doubt a very serious tip. Make sure you guys get all the weeds in any evasive species out of your boat before you leave the boat landing for sure. Now what I have is a long pole here and you can see Zupke is just pulling them weeds out, you know, cause it is hard to climb underneath these boats. Make sure that you wipe everything down. You don't want all that stuff to dry in your boat. So typically I'll take a couple of tubble towels like this. And what I'll do is just quick, give it a, a good wipe down. And a lot of times what I'll do is not so much worry about the side. What I'm gonna do you guys is I like to come to the front on the hull right here. And I like to wipe that hull down. Makes it look nice and you're wiping any kind of little eggs, any kind of seeds, anything off of that hole. Hey, I'll tell you what, boys, you guys literally kicked my butt this morning. For three hours, I, I gotta tell you everybody, I went with one bite and finally we made a move and it was game on. And I did reposition myself a little bit in the boat, but you know, we had a contest going on and when there's a contest going on in the boat and you have two other absolutely awesome fishermen, right? You know what? There's no, no holding back. So when we did make a move, I jumped to the side and it really, do you see that a lot? Where one side of the boat catches more fish than the other? No, it's just Pete, definitely. It's just Pete, no, huh? Perch, definitely. 
Well, it's him. Yes, you you guys are amazing fishermen. There's no no doubt about that. And you know, every time we come over here and we fish with you guys, it, I'm just dumbfounded how good the pan fishing is. And today we strictly targeted perch and had an awesome time. Probably between the three of us, and I'm the low low end. Probably had way over 100. We ended up keeping 49 perch, which is more than enough. Like you know, a bunch of great meals, but. The winner of the contest, with hands down, no doubt, was Pete Huff. And Pete Huff, this is what you get to win today. You get some of the buck and bite brats from Leroy Meats, along with the cheesy wieners. Wow. My friend, there you Thank go. Thank you very much. Congratulations on that. So if you guys are looking to have a lot of fun and catch a bunch of fish, give both of these guys a call and let's tell them how they can do it. Uh, BigBeesGuideService.com, 608-219-0505. And Best Dam Bait and Guiding out of Beaver Dam, and it's 608-609-2707. Hey everybody, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing the hard hat. You're probably going to see me wear this a little bit more. I want to welcome a brand new sponsor to the show, the MRD Group. They are a construction company and a demolition company. These guys do a lot of stuff, and they are a great new sponsor for the show and we thank them for sure. Hey, make sure you guys also check out our podcast which comes out every Tuesday and it's called We Eat Fish Eat. We have a lot of very interesting guests on there and a lot of different conversations and topics that we talk about. Also, we wanna thank all of our law enforcement agents and all of our military men and women for the great service that they give this country. And remember, no doubt, it is still a great day to be alive and we'll see you next week. Hey Zoo, what's up? We suck. Oh, we do. I, I'm, I'm sucking the bad big old egg today. We got one we're perch. not. We're not. I, I haven't like even gotten the fish yet. I'm not gonna let it happen. Nope. We're not going down without a fight. No. Nope. No, I'm about to start throwing a drop shot to catch bluegills. You're not touching them bluegills. <laughs> we literally said on the way over here, Zoop Key Big B. We are not touching the bluegills. Check, check. Check. Check is in the mail. Check the fish will be in the pail. Larry's, Larry's pissed. Look at him. You know what? Of all things, the biggest perch oh, yeah. so far, you lose it. <laughs>